Hello everybody, today we are going to open up and assemble a deluxe locking hitch bike carrier. This is a five bike and it is an Allen, uh, Allen brand. Um, again, deluxe locking hitch bike carrier. So first I'm going to do is open the box up and uh, lay out the parts and pieces. So we have our parts and pieces laid out here. Uh, and not too many parts, really. It's uh, this piece here that goes into the hitch, you know, kind of obviously it's uh, called the hitch insert with filler plates. And then we have the, it says RR post, and then the carry arm assembly over here. We have three bolts, uh, which you'll need a 9 wrench. Uh, I grabbed a wrench and a socket there. Um, and then it also has the keys over here to lock it in place. So that's it, that's all the parts and pieces plus the assembly instructions. So let's go ahead and get this thing put together. All right, so step one is we take our post and we're gonna put it on here. Now this did come with these plastic pieces on the bottom. Just take those off. And for the bolt, we need the three inch bolt, which is the longer one. Uh, there's two, two and a half, and there's one three inch bolt. So what we're gonna do is kind of line this up in here and with your holes lined up, put it all the way through, and we're gonna start threading the lock nut on there. Now we're not gonna tighten it all the way yet. First we're gonna take off this clip, and pivot it up, and then it says, insert the clip back in. And now we'll go ahead and tighten that all the way up. Oh, we got that bolt all the way tightened. And just as a check, I'm gonna take this pin out and make sure, yep, still rotates down. Good to go. Put that back in. And we'll lock it here into place. All right, then we're gonna move to step two, which step two is putting this carrying arm onto here and again. Just take off the little black protector piece. All right, so the next step, we're gonna put the carrying arm and we're gonna insert it into this piece. The carrying arm does have this black piece on here. So we're gonna take that off. And all we're gonna do is flip it over and slide it in. You see it slides all the way down. Obviously we don't want that. So you take your bolt, take off the nut, and then we're gonna pick it up fill those holes the line put it in do the same thing with the other bolt and we'll put our nuts back on here and we're going to tighten them all the way now before i do that i did notice i just put this on backwards so you want when it folds upright you want the short end to be toward the hitch so I put it in backwards, so let's take that back out and turn it around. Because that would have been fairly annoying to have not have caught that. Alright, so I'm going to tighten these nuts up with the wrench and the socket. And then we'll go ahead and put it on the vehicle. All right, so now we're outside by the vehicle. That does take a two inch uh, hitch. So this is an interesting like hitch. Like this little spring part will go on and it'll click in, you know, the hole that's on the thing. It'll be, you know, that side. And then you turn this, um, this knob here. And what it does is it tightens the bolt so that this thing kind of wedges out and that's what holds it in place so interesting design uh, i guess we'll see how that goes so let's let's put it in the hitch let's see now get this right all right so you can see the hitch I'm just gonna pick it up start sliding in i'll push that pin in okay that's in place so I'm going to come over to this knob here and turn it 
until I can't turn it anymore. You see, it is stiffening off. I did feel it kind of come up. So, I mean, that feels solid. So then we can take, take our key and turn it. And now it spins pretty freely. So it's not loosening. So that must be some type of mechanism in there that turns it on and off. So one thing I did want to test is if this my back gate here will open with this so I'm gonna take this out I rotate that down and see what happens here cool so that cleared it so we'll be able to open and close our, our gate you know with the bike rack on so that's that'll be nice and helpful so go ahead and close the gate back up And then we just fold this back up, grab our, grab our pin here, and insert it through, lock it into place. So then to fold these arms up, uh, it's the same, same basic pin system. You know, we take that, pull it out, you can see it's pretty loose, fold this up, and then with it up, take our pin and put it back through. So last thing we need to do is put a bike on here. All right, so we're gonna put the bike on here. So pick it up, slide it back, and it sits in these cradles. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of these straps. Uh, come in here and get closer to these straps. So the straps, instead of being like, a, yeah, I've used a lot of like rubber ones that kind of come on and you just, I don't know how to explain it, but this one, so you have to take it, thread it through the bottom, and then come back and thread it through the top, and then that tightens it. So that's on there, so we'll do it for the other one as well. And uh, overall, I think it's a pretty nice bike rack. We'll have to experiment on how all five bikes will fit on here. Uh, but overall, I'm happy with it. It was fairly cheap on Amazon and uh, easy to put together and put on. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and all that, and we will talk to you later.